I'm in low ready. I don't have my sights on target. See my finger? Yep. It's straight along the frame. I'm getting my sights aligned. When you dry fire practice at home, um, obviously we want to make sure when you dry fire practice, guns unloaded, ammunition in a completely separate room. Awesome job. Young lady. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. With the smallest gun, too. Right now. I, personally, I'd recommend this training for anybody that owns a firearm. Uh, whether you want a CCW or not, I'd still take the class because the information alone is invaluable. I had no idea of all of the things that I needed to think about as far as uh, safety and the laws, especially. I had no idea that I was going to be getting a big lesson on the laws, and that's what I really needed. The single most important thing, and I think the class is invaluable, and that is the uh, classroom, which taught you where your responsibilities lie in using a weapon. You know, you never want to, but if you have to, your problems don't stop when you put down a threat. Your problems really begin, and there's legal problems, there's legal issues you have to deal with, and being aware of what those are, something every person should have, because you don't want to use a firearm, but if you do, you want to make sure you use it right. There was so much that I had no idea. And now I feel so much more confident. And I, it's something that I can do not just here with them at the range, but I've learned to dry fire at home. And I've been practicing almost every day. Oh, I absolutely exceeded my expectations. It taught me a lot of things I didn't know. I thought I knew most of it, but this class really taught me what I didn't know.